Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. I hope you're all doing well this morning and I pray that as you go throughout the day that the Lord will guide your feet. I pray that he will protect you and your families. I pray that he will provide for you and may you continue to trust in him who is able to keep you. Our reading today comes to us from Joshua chapter 5, reading from verse 13 to 15. And it says, And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him, with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him, and said unto him, Art thou for us, or for our adversaries and he said nay but as captain of the host of the lord i am now come and joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him what said my lord unto his servant and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua loose thy shoes from off thy foot for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground and the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoes from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Amen. We give God thanks for a portion of his words this morning again. And we are so thankful for the word of God, you know, which is here to edify us, to encourage us, and to bless us. And this morning it brings us just that now what we read here was a scenario in which israel was heading out to battle they were ab about to battle the people of jericho and joshua while he was at jericho he looked and he saw a man standing up and so this man had his sword drawn and so naturally joshua went over there to find out what he was about and he asked him if he was there to fight for them or with them or he was their enemy to fight against them and of course this person respond and said that he is what captain of the lord's host captain of the lord's army so here we can see that this person was jesus who came to fight this battle for Israel. And we know that once Jesus step in, victory is assured. And so Joshua immediately re realized that he was speaking to Jesus and he asked what was required of him. And the response that was given is this, take off your shoes because what? Where you are standing is what? Holy ground. Now, where else in the Bible do we remember something similar being said? At the burning bush, when Moses approached the burning bush and the voice of God told him to do the same thing, take off his shoes because where he's standing is what? Holy ground. Something I want us to note here, that where God is, that his presence automatically made that place holy. So it wasn't holy ground before he was there. But once his presence is there, it is holy ground. And that is why the physical space in which that we worship, it is what? Holy ground. And so we must understand that when we are in the presence of God, that we need to conduct ourselves in a manner that is respectful unto God. And that is why I am not clear as to why we believe that we can come into the house of God and do as we like. See these men, the moment they approach God, they were told that they need to show reverence. And if they had refused to show reverence, they might have bear the consequences for their irreverence. And so we must understand that we must not take God very lightly. God is a loving God and is a merciful God, but he also expect respect from us and reverence. Remember, we are the creature. 
he is the creator and we must give him the respect that is due unto him and i just wanted to drop that in there but my focus this morning is on the fact that god is a conqueror there's a song that is sing the battle is not yours but it's the lord now here israel was about to go against the people of jericho and jericho was a very terrible place and so they were instructed by the lord that they need to go and take jericho and so as they went up god of course came to give his assistance he came to fight this battle for israel and this is something that we need to pay attention to you don't need to fight your battles god is able to fight your battles for you but we must understand that even though god will fight our battles for us there is a role that we still have to play we have to commit ourselves in totality to god we have to commit our will to him we have to be faithful to him we have to show our allegiance to him and as we can see here that when israel went up against jericho they did not have to lift a finger not one sword was drawn yet still their enemy were defeated jericho was left in rubble because when god stepped into your situation you can be assured that victory will be yours and i say amen and so the word of god tell us that we need to do what stand still and see the salvation of our god because there is nothing that is impossible for god to do and as long as you and i are obedient to the word of god then we can be assured that we will be conquerors through him who love us and gave himself for us and so god seek men and women who are willing to commit themselves to him who are willing to be used by him because we are in a warfare we are in a battle and our enemy is real as night is today and if we lay ourselves careless then we are going to be destroyed and that is why it is important for us to make sure that we are standing under the banner of prince emmanuel make sure that we are marching behind jesus as he lead the procession as he lead the army stand by his side and remember to keep your armor on he provide the armor he provide everything for you and i and all we need to do is to stand behind him 100 percent now the question i will ask you is this do you believe that god need you and i in order to win a battle of course not but he has made us participant in this so instead of leaving us out he says no you can be a part of it because this involves you as much as it is involved me and why does it involve god because remember satan is trying is utmost best to discredit God, to dethrone God. Futile though his effort may be, it not gonna stop him from trying. Defeat upon defeat, he may be defeated. He's still gonna pursue his agenda. And that is why you and I must not let down our guard at any time. But we must remember that vengeance is the Lord and he will repay. So as we continue in this battle, as we continue in this warfare, may we trust God to fight our battles for us. May we claim the victory that is sure. And may we lift our voice in thanksgiving and praise for the victory. You may not see it yet, but you know without a shadow of a doubt that it is assured. Then you need to live that victory. You may be going through something right now. You're going through your battles. You're fighting a war. Maybe you're fighting a war at your job. You're fighting a war in your family. You're fighting a war at church. You're fighting a war with the illness that you are struggling with. You're fighting a financial war. Whatever your war is, whatever your battle is, 
claim the victory. March around that situation. Give God praise and God will make that wall tumble down in front of you because that's the God that we serve. As I always say, he's a God of impossibilities. It might seem impossible to you and to me, but God does not deal in impossibilities. He is a God of possibilities. And so may God help you and I to be faithful. May we march onward as Christian soldier because the Lord is on our side and we will not be defeated in Jesus name. May God continue to bless you and I and may we remain faithful and steadfast in our campaign with Jesus. Amen.